Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about aluminum and its alloy. So in this theory, I would like to explain the properties of the aluminum, their applications and the basic compositions that will be used to make the aluminum alloys. So let us start with the introductory portion of aluminum and its alloy. So basically, pure form of the aluminium that will be not having particular properties and it will be used into any applications. So make it strong of these aluminium materials that will be conjected with the other materials like copper, chromium, nickel, iron, zinc, manganese, silicon, magnesium and many more alloying elements that will be added to enhancing the aluminium's properties. So, some of these aluminium alloys are more than four times as stronger as same weight of the mild steel. So, if you want to make a high strength, low density materials and it will be replacing mild steel material. So, that will be having a one of the best option. You can use the aluminium alloy material instead of the mild steel materials. So they are malleable, so you can easily converting into thin sheets as well as the ductile. So if you pull that material, so it will be easily elongated. So as compared to mild steel material, this aluminium alloy material that will be having a higher strength and it will be also having good malleability and ductility. So you can easily converting into desired shape and size and that will be requirement of my applications. So they exhibit toughness and become stronger at temperature below ordinary atmospheric range also. Then they do not work well at temperatures of order of 300 to 400 degree centigrade. Aluminium and its alloy can be cast, you can forge, welded, extruded, rolled or you can say any kind of machining or you can say forming process is being easily applicable with this material to make a different components. So that in case of the aluminium alloys, it will be having a properties like good ductility, malleability due to the FCC structure, you can say face centered cubic structure. So lighter in weight, so you can use as a requirement of the high strength low density materials good thermal as well as the electrical conductivity then it has an excellent corrosion and oxidation resistance material so aluminium alloy never corroded into any kind of conditions corrosion products of the aluminium is non-toxic then it remains ductile and tough up to the 40 degrees centigrade non-magnetic non-sparking in characters it has an excellent ability to getting the alloy with the other elements. So these all are the good mechanical properties is being present into that. So due to such kind of properties, it will be having a different applications. So cooking utensils, combs, collar buttons, toasters, mixtures, electrical conductors, food containers, paint, nameplates, ashtrays flower pots, coins, bicycles, motorcycles, automobile industries, trucks, buses and many more places where aluminum alloys is being nowadays replacing by the steel materials. Here I would like to explain why alloys or you can say LM14 or you can say low metal alloy 14 numbers. So the compositions for that the high strength aluminum alloys and that contains with the 4% of the copper with 2% of the nickel and 1.5% of the mangue, magnesium. Properties of Y alloys, it has an excellent ability to retain the strength at elevated temperature. So it will be having the wide applications in automobile industries with fairly good corrosion resistance. It can be easily cast and rolled, but it is cheaply used into the cast form. Applications, if you observe that, mainly for pistons and cylinder heads of the diesel and high duty petrol engines. So if you observe that, 
the automobile industries that will be having a wide applications for aluminium and its alloys then after hindalmium so you can say rr350 so the composition for that 5 percentage of the copper 1.5 percentage of the nickel with small amount of magnesium titanium then cobalt zirconium and many more then properties that will be the creep resistance so creep resistance means at higher temperature for longer longer period of time it will be having a sustaining the load so such kind of material then applications the aero engines then dura limb then 4.5 percentage of the copper with magnesium 0.5 percentage manganese about 0.5 percentage good strength then after shock resistance is also there or you can say corrosion resistance for each and every aluminium alloys then applications you should use into the aircraft castings so in that case the requirement of the high strength low weight materials so that is the best option for aircraft castings i hope you can understand this if you like this then subscribe and share thank you so much and keep watching